Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with block diagram reduction. So I think this is the ninth question uh, related to block diagram reduction. So here we have is the uh, block diagram. So this is the question uh, we have to simplify and find out the transfer function C by R output by input. So here in this portion we are going to make the changes okay this is the same thing redrawn here we will make the changes we will apply the block diagram reduction rules and simplify the diagram okay so the usual approach try to find out a spot a region where we can apply the block diagram reduction rule okay finding a spot to attack in this uh, whole thing where we can anyhow apply the block diagram reduction rule once we find that spot then it becomes easier okay so here uh, you can see in this uh, this this portion this portion if you see these two uh, blocks along with this summer they are in forward path okay so although it may seem that it is uh, a feedback path but still no it is both plus sign positive sign so it is in forward path so directly we can make a change here which will uh, look like this g3 plus g4 okay directly we can make the change g3 plus g4 g3 plus g4 see again g6 and g3 plus g4 they are in cascade so we can further simplify it okay we will further simplify it so it is g6 multiplied with g3 plus g4 g3 plus g4 this again if we uh, consider this takeoff point okay and we try to take this here this takeoff point if we try to shift it ahead of this uh, g2 block so it will be something like this so uh, the basic mechanism is suppose we have a block here let's say g the takeoff point is here let's the the value is input is a this is a g the output so the value of this takeoff point is a so when we shift a takeoff point the value of the takeoff point the signal value it should remain unchanged so if we shift it here its value should remain unaltered so the value of the takeoff point should be a here also so we can achieve that by connecting a 1 by g block so it will be a again because a g multiplied with 1 by g will be a okay so here also we'll try to do a similar thing when we shift it here we will connect a 1 by g2 block so when we shift this takeoff point here we will multiply a 1 by g2 block and shift it here okay 1 by g2 again g5 and g2 they are in cascade so it will become g5 by g2 okay g5 by g2 it will become that this g5 by g2 again here uh, these two blocks g1 and g2 are in cascade so they will become g1 g2 they will become g1 g2 so actually 
this whole thing it is connected here means actually we can think of it like this same thing it is all connected to this output so again g5 by g2 and g6 into g3 plus 4 they are in forward path okay plus plus so they will also get added up g5 by g2 plus g6 into g3 plus g4 okay that so we'll do that so see how it's getting simple and simple so it is simply g5 by g2 plus g6 into g3 plus g4 this And again, it will get multiplied with H1. Okay, H1 will get multiplied throughout. So this will become uh, when uh, H1 gets multiplied, this will become okay. When H1 will get multiplied with g5 by g2 plus g6 into g3 plus g4 it will become g5 h1 plus g2 g6 h1 into g3 plus g4 by g2 this this will be the simplified uh, uh, block. So we have got uh, the whole block diagram, we have reduced it up to this form. Now we will further simplify it. For that what we will do is, is we will split this summing point, this summer. So for doing that we can do it in this way. Uh, suppose we have summing point like this the input is a here it is b here it is c so the net output is a minus b minus c so if we want to split this summer we can do it in this way like okay this then the same thing a minus b then a minus b minus c so the same result we will get so we have divided this one summer into two summers depending on the sign convention so like that we will do it here so first we will split this summer as um, ok we will split this summer as ok plus this is minus as this this is uh, G1, G2. And here in the feedback path, H2. Here, like this. This is one part. And this is the other part. We have split the summer. Okay. So, if we proceed in this way, this is a classic negative feedback connection, okay, G by 1 plus G H, where this is G, this is H, G by 1 plus G H. So, when we apply this, it will become G 1, G 2, H by 1 plus G 1, G 2, H 2, okay, G 1, G 2 by 1 plus G 1, G 2, H 2. So, let us do that.
g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 okay this is the simplified block again again a classic negative feedback connection where this is g and this is h again the same thing g by 1 plus g h the c by r will be g by 1 plus g h so if we do that let us erase all these things so if we do that it will be so here you have to be a little bit careful because these expressions can get a little bit complex and there is high chance that you can make a mistake because there is lot of terms involved okay g by 1 plus g is this is g g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 this is g by 1 plus okay 1 plus g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 multiplied with h h is this which is g5 h1 plus g2 g6 h1 into g3 plus g4 by g2 by g2 okay so here g2 g2 will get cancelled out okay g2 g2 will get cancelled out then it will be uh, so this will become g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 this term goes here in the numerator then plus g1 getting multiplied with each of these terms g1 g5 h1 plus g1 g2 g3 g6 h1 plus g1 g2 g4 g6 h1 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 so this gets cancelled out from both here and here so we have g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 g1 g5 h1 g1 g2 g3 g6 h1 and g1 g2 g4 g6 h1 okay so this is the final simplified expression so as i said these uh, you know simplifications and cancelling out they can be a little bit complex because a lot of terms are involved a lot of blocks are there so just be a little bit careful okay while uh, simplifying all these things so basic mathematics is involved but it is very uh, you know uh, mistakes can happen in this stage okay so this is the simplified boolean expression okay c by r okay